Hey there, Starfighters. Welcome to Ranger Rewind, the show formerly known as Power Rangers Essentials. Despite the name change, this is still the show where we recap the very best must-see episodes of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and talk about what we can learn from our favorite teenagers with attitude. I'm Steven Zarita, and let's get started with this week's episode, Gung Ho. Right off the bat, Jason and Tommy are training for the upcoming ninja tournament at the Juice Bar, but they're not doing a very good job about being a team. They're clashing, their egos are butting heads, and Trini comes in to tell them that they need to learn Gung Ho, aka working together. Meanwhile, Rita's used a super putty from the last episode to make her foot soldiers invincible, and she's going to unleash these new super putties on the rangers. They attack Trini and Kim in the park, and the other rangers come to help, but despite all six rangers being there, they are quickly overwhelmed, and the putties force them to retreat back to the command center. Zordon sends Jason and Tommy to find the Thunder Slingers, while the other rangers have to hold off the super putties till they get back. This is an interesting fight to watch because these putties are still indestructible despite the rangers being morphed and using their weapons. Jason and Tommy are still bickering on their quest until Titanus shows up, who's a large Brachiozord blocking their path. With a little bit of ingenuity with the switching of Tommy's shield and the lending of Jason's sword, they're able to team up in a way that'll distract Titanus so that Jason can get the Thunder Slingers back to the rangers. The new Thunder Slingers defeat the putties in no time at all and Rita's plan is once again Foiled. Back at the juice bar, Jason and Tommy are now meshing perfectly as a team and have no trouble at all defeating Bulk and Skull's ninja team in the ninja tournament. Okay, what did we learn here? Trini says it multiple times, you need to learn to gung-ho. Gung-ho means working together. Now, that's a pretty simple concept. The entire show is about teamwork, so it seems kind of redundant. But this episode specifically dives a little bit of a level deeper. To really work as a team, you have to check your ego at the door. That's all over this episode. Jason and Tommy's egos are butting heads, which is kind of weird considering real life circumstances. I'm not gonna go much more into that. But basically check your ego at the door and everything will work much better and you'll be surprised with what you can accomplish as a team. Why is this an essential episode? Well, we got to meet Titanus, who is an essential part of the Ranger Zord arsenal. And we also got to see something we very rarely see, which is the Green Ranger without his shield on. And we, you know, we also see him transfer it to the Red Ranger, which is a little bit of foreshadowing for certain things that will come on later on in the season. Also, it's worth noting on a side note, this episode's kind of weird because the morphing orders are a little out of sequence. And considering that only one Ranger, Jason, has an actual morphing effect at the end of his call, it's weird that they would switch up the sequence that way. That's a random side note. And most importantly, we get the final piece of the Ranger arsenal. You know the name by heart. You see it in just about every episode after this, the Thunder Slingers. Just kidding, I'm making all this up. They use them once this episode and never again, despite it being possibly their most powerful weapon to date. Nope, you're not gonna see those Thunder Slingers ever again. All right, then versus now, how does it hold up? Well, nowadays, I still think the choreography and the juice bar scenes are pretty good. It's really fun watching Tommy and Jason train and then the tournament that takes place at the end of the episode is very well done too. It's a great lesson in all in this episode, but Trini and Kimberly have some very on the nose dialogue about the whole gung ho concept in the park. Tommy and Jason are going to have to learn to work together if they're going to beat them. <laughs> yeah, well, Zach is going to practice with them all day. Good. Then they'll learn to work as a team. I know this is a simple kids show, but even within this show, this dialogue is way too direct. The most impressive thing about this episode is how good of a mentor Zordon is. He doesn't just lecture to Tommy and Jason, you need to work as a team, after he tells them that he plants Titanus there at the Thunder Slingers to teach them through experience about the value of teamwork. Once you have to actually go through that experience, you're going to learn it much better than you would if someone just told you about teamwork. So I think this is an amazing example of how great of a mentor Zordon was at times. So way to go, giant blue head in the tube. You did it. All right, guys, it's comment time. Last week, I asked you guys about what the new name for the show was, and you guys almost unanimously said Ranger Rewind. I have to admit, you're right. It rolls off the tongue a lot better, and I think the titles are going to look a lot cooler. So everybody give yourselves a pat on the back. Thanks again for that suggestion. Next week, I want you to tell me who your favorite two-person team in Power Rangers is. This episode was all about Jason and Tommy. What other two Rangers do you like seeing work together? Now, if you're wondering why I'm wearing this black shirt and green coat, it's because I'm doing a casual cosplay for Anime Expo. And today, I'm Darian from Sailor Moon. I have better cosplays lined up, but I actually just wore this to the premiere of the new Dragon Ball Z movie, Resurrection of F, or Resurrection F, it's a weird, 
title. But oh my gosh, it was amazing. I had so much fun. I saw so many cool people there, both from the cast and also just around on the internet. But I think most important to this show, I ran into the cast of Dino Charge. Yes, Power Rangers Dino Charge, about half the cast was there. And thanks to our friend Megan from Strawberry 17, who's friends with Yoshi, I got to meet Yoshi, who then was amazing and yelled over everybody like, hey, everybody get over here. The rest of the cast came over. We all took a picture. It was a lot of fun. It was a great experience meeting all of them. Thank you guys so much. This is actually, you know, I've met a lot of Power Rangers. You guys have seen the countless Morphicon interviews I've done and then, you know, with various conventions. But this is the first time I've actually met a cast of Power Rangers while their season was currently airing. So that was really cool. I got to be like, oh, I can't wait for your show to come back because we're in this weird hiatus, but it comes back in August. So that's something to look forward to. It was an overall great experience. And I originally wasn't even going to film this episode of Ranger Rewind because uh, you know I have all this Anime Expo stuff and a YouTube collab tomorrow, but I'm just so charged up from meeting them that I, I just I had to do more Power Rangers stuff. So that was just a fun experience I wanted to share with you guys. One other thing I want to share with you guys is this awesome YouTube channel called Daizu Yujin. Uh, I probably mispronounced that, but Daizujin is the name of the original Megazord from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, is what it's called in the Super Sentai Zhu Ranger. You know, that iconic, you know, pterodactyl chest and the saber tooth tiger, Triceratops, Mastodon, Tyrannosaurus, that guy. This channel, Daizujin, does these amazing 3D CGI renders of Megazord battles and also Megazord test footage, but it's got a couple Megazord battles on there you have to check out. You get to see really cool stuff like the Dino Megazord versus the Super Zeo Megazord. Like I said before, you guys gotta check it out because if you're a Power Rangers fan, I know you're gonna love it. And this guy deserves a ton of views because it is some amazing work. So go check out that channel. There's links on the page and in the description below. All right, that's enough blabber. The next episode we're watching is Island of Illusion parts one and two. Yes, this time we're going to combine both episodes into one viewing. I'll explain when we do the next episode. But watch those two episodes and then come back for the next episode of Ranger Rewind next week. If you like this, be sure to give us a thumbs up and share with your friends. Don't forget to leave your comments below about your favorite two-person team. And if you're here for the first time and you want to not miss any of these episodes, be sure to hit the subscribe button because we have tons of Power Rangers content each week. And also, our 20th anniversary podcast for the Power Rangers movie is also linked to in the description below. That's a lot of info I just threw at you, so I'm gonna uh, see you next week. Punch it!